Hello and welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. I just got done watering my Ornithocephalus. And I have three of them, three different types. I ordered these from Equigenera. I think I got them about a couple months ago. And actually, I did an unboxing video. So if you uh, check out my playlist, I have my unboxing videos there and I will uh, post some pictures of what they look like when I originally got them and especially because they have not been doing so well in my care and I think I kept them too moist so uh, but we'll talk about that in a little bit so these are brand new orchids to me Again, it's Ornithocephalus, and I have Equidorensis with two little fans right there. I have the Felcatus with one adorable little fan, and I have the Krugeri, Krugeri, and the two fans. And so again, let me throw up some pictures of what they look like when I first got them and then also how I potted them up. And what you'll see did not work, but real quick, ornith ornithocephalus, I'm just looking on Wikipedia. It's a genus of orchids comprising more than 50 known species widespread in South America, Central America, Southern Mexico, Trinidad, and the Windward Islands. And so when I first got these, of course I love the look of them. They're just so exotic to me. And um, they started to rot, all three of them. I lost a ton of leaves. So you see this one is starting to yellow. I think because I took it out of the setup that I should have put some pictures up earlier. I took it out of that setup where it was rotting and I had to take off a whole bunch of leaves. And I think this one is still is yellowing because it's still acclimating to this new setup that I did. I'm totally improvising with these little plastic lids that I got from Equigenera. I, I keep all plasticky stuff because... Um, I need to think of fun ways or different ways to pot orchids up the the little plastic parts actually come in handy when you need something real shallow but this is actually a lid so you could see the width of my thumb so I just stuck sphagnum moss in there and put this netting all around it and then the little roots I worked I worked it in there and then I took a tweezers and I pushed in sphagnum moss to hold the plant in. And it's been working pretty good. I, I do a soak about two to three times a week. I let it dry out really well in between. So it depends on how well it dries out. Um, so it could be two times a week or three times a week. Uh, so I did the same with the Ecuadorensis, so there's the netting 
and I worked a little roots into the netting and then with a tweezers use sphagnum moss to hold it in place. Uh, this one, the Krugeri, uh, I had to improvise a little different. Uh, the roots were a lot more bulky and it would have been like, it felt like it would have been like two hours work trying to work the roots in and I think it would have did more damage. So I put the sphagnum moss in, I cut out these divots so that I could do the wrap around with the thread. And that's all that is, it's just thread thread wrapping around to hold everything in place. So, um, I grow these in my northern window, and again, if you go on my playlist, you can see my, my northern grow area, which is just right here in front of me. Um, I have this big puzzle holder, <laughs> which I've been using as a backdrop, not very sophisticated, and this table leaf on a recliner chair. Um, and I have a little light above that helps to show the plants better. Again, not very sophisticated, but it's uh, easy to put away and, and use. So they get uh, good northern light all day. They don't get any direct sun. I thought I would quick insert where they hang in my north growing area. So they get this really nice northern light uh, which is drowning out the plant, so you can't really see the plant. But I've got them hanging over my bubble phylum. Um, I've got my phalaenopsis in this window. Some repots of my catacetums that started up their new little growths. Uh, so there's the Krugeri. Here's the Ecuadorensis. And then the Felcatus. And it works out because if it dribbles, the water just goes right into some of my bulbal phylums. So, yeah, so that's there where they grow. And again, I, I let them dry out really well in between. And I've been fertilizing about twice a month. So every other watering or every other soaking, I then um, pour in some fertilizer and then I flush again with water. Um, I never leave the fertilizer soaking as the last thing I do. I'm just really worried about the roots and I want to make sure there's no root burn going on or, or anything like that. But I just really love these little guys. I'm hoping that I can keep them going to get stronger and eventually flower for me and produce more fans. So they don't produce pseudobulbs. Uh, they just, they create these fans and eventually you have like a whole bunch of them clustered together and so pretty. So these are, this is the beginnings of my relationship with these guys and I hope to post uh, periodic updates on them, how they're growing. Uh, this is my introduction on my channel of these three and so wish me luck. If you have experience growing with these, uh, Please share your experience. I need as much help as I can get. Or if you're interested in them and have questions for me along the way, please let me know anytime. And um, if you like this video, please do a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and talk to you soon.